नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भवत्षिणी भगवत गीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉड इज शॉवर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डियालिज्म कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई अफेक्शनेट मदर डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ रीबर्थ I meditate upon thee. Krishna Vandana, Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kansa Chanura Mardanam Deva Kim Paramanandam Krishna Vande Jagat Guru. Son of Vasudeva, slayer of Kansa and Chanur, extreme delight for Mother Deva Ki, Lord Krishna, the supreme teacher of the universe. My salutations to you. Today is our uh, the twenty fourth shloka of uh, Jnana Karma Sanyasa Yoga, and uh, in the previous uh, shloka, twenty third shloka, Sri Krishna uh, gave further uh, instruction to us. He gave further knowledge to us as to how to get how to get all the activities their way we, we, that we are doing uh, dissolved. how the activities how all the karmas can get melted melted away from although we are doing all these things we will never get tainted stained by the activities that we are doing so he 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 told us that gata sangasya muktasya for give up all the attachment be free and jnana avasthita chetasa merged merge your mind with that knowledge into the karma and then you do you do yadnyaya yad yadnyaya acharatah you perform the karma as if you are doing a sacrifice you are performing a sacrifice and then karma samagram viliyate that all that thing that you are doing so many activities it will just melt away all those activities they will just melt away why did you do it as yatnya as a sacrifice now shri krishna doesn't leave any uh, you know uh, 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 doubt uncleared now the moment uh, we we th- start thinking about what does he mean by that yatnya and we have seen that yes whatever we are doing doing it in the spirit of offering it to the lord whatever we do it is lord's activity we are doing as an offering to him and on that yatnya aspect shri krishna is now telling us something more detailed in this 24 24th shloka ब्रह्मापण ब्रह्म हवैर् ब्रह्मन ब्रह्मणाहुत ब्रह्म तेन ग्यम ब्रह्म कर्म सीस पर्टिकुलर श्लोक इज ऑफन चैंटेड बिफोर टेकिंग एनी मील दिस 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 श्लोक एक्चुअली इट इट गिव्स द एंटायर You know, the mm-hmm. summary, the 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 gist of what is sacrifice. And when we eat, we we are offering something to our body, isn't it? We eat uh, our breakfast, we eat our lunch, we eat have our supper, we dinner, and with every food that we eat, it is as if an offering being made. 
the indweller inside with that spirit with that in mind when we start eating anything we chant this mantra normally i mean in most of uh, the, the the hindu traditions they uh, chant especially in our uh, ram krishna order whenever we uh, are having uh, you know uh, food prior to having food we chant this particular shloka brahmar pano brahma vir because it is an oblation that we are offering to the dweller who is inside in dweller the atman and with that spirit we are taking food now shri krishna says not only in that spirit we should do it i mean uh, only while taking food but all the activities that we do mm-hmm. do it in the activity of performing yajna now what this shloka means brahmarpanam brahma arpanam arpanam means offering all the offering is brahman all the oblations when when we perform actually the traditional yajna homa that we uh, perform you know we put uh, all those oblations of ghee and samidhas and uh, Uh, so some some uh, uh, part uh, the the pot rice and all that so these are all these oblations are the brahman brahma arpanam hmm. Hmm. brahma havir havi havi is the ghee that is we are we we uh, offer into that yajna even that ghee is brahma all the offerings brahma arpanam brahma havir the clarified butter the ghee that we offer is also brahma brahmagnau brahmanautam brahmagnau the fire of brahman all these offerings we are putting in the fire that also is brahman all the offerings the offering of ghee in the form of brahman is being offered to the brahman in the fire of brahman ब्रह्मार्पणम ब्रह्मावैर ब्रह्मणौ ब्रह्मणाहुतम ब्रह्मागनौ ब्रह्मणाहुतम इन द फायर ऑफ ब्रह्मन वी आर ऑफरिंग द ब्रह्मन एवरीथिंग इज ब्रह्मन ब्रह्मैव तेन गन्तव्यम ब्रह्म कर्म समाधिना ब्रह्मैव ब्रह्म एव तेन गन्तव्यम शैल रीच ब्रह्म अलोन whatever is being offered in the form of brahman is going to reach ultimately brahma alone brahma karma samadhinaha the man who is absorbed in action which is brahma even the karma is brahma brahma karma samadhina the one who has this understanding one who has this conviction uh, uh, that even brahm also is brahma everything around shri krishna is telling us everything is brahman we are taking food that is the food is brahman and that is being offered to the brahman when we do the yajna sacrifice the sacrificial fire is brahman the all the offerings in the sacrificial fire the samidhas the rice the ghee everything is brahman and all these offerings are ultimately going to reach brahmaiva tena gantavyam they are ultimately going to reach brahman alone brahma karma samadhina he who organizes brahman in action so the oblation is brahman clarified butter or ghee is brahman which is being offered offered by brahman in the fire of brahman and to brahman verily he goes who cognizes brahman alone in his action ultimately while performing the karma in this spirit of sacrifice that everything he is doing the form of materials being added to that uh, yajna are also brahma 
Yajna fire is also Brahma and everything is ultimately going to the Brahma. One who forms this while doing the karma, one who understands this, uh, you know, the, the, the gist of the karma, that everything is being offered to the Brahman. That person also ultimately verily reaches Brahman. So that is how Shri Krishna is teaching us when he told us that yajna ya charataha karma. Perform the karma in the spirit of, with the knowledge of doing a sacrifice. Like any other sacrifice. Any other uh, sacrifice done, uh, you know, as per the scriptural injunctions. Exactly in the same way, do our ordinary duties also. Whatever you are doing, that also is Brahman. Whatever you are adding, that also is Brahman. The whole thing ultimately is going to merge in the Brahman alone and so the doer also is going to get merged in the Brahman towards end. So it is not my work. It is not I am doing it. It is all in the spirit of sacrifice. <clears throat> he who holds himself the agent to performance of a sacrifice cherishes the feeling of distinction between himself Deity to be propitiated, things offered, the medium of fire and so on. Initially, when we start the sacrificial act, you know, there is some kind of a dvaita. I am doing it. I am offering ghee. I am offering samidas. I am offering uh, rice. And then, slowly, a transformation takes place. There is no I and you, I mean I and Brahman. These are no two entities. And then I become Brahman. I get that knowledge. I get that understanding. Whatever is, whatever is happening is nothing but projection of that Brahman only. Whatever I see around me is nothing but that projection, manifestation of Brahman in all those things that we are using in our activities. And the moment that understanding dawns upon us, we get into that attitude of doing the karma as a sacrificial act. But he who takes to jnana yajna, the process of enlightenment, enlightenment, views all these as Brahman, things in itself. For him, there are there are no uh, there is no duality. Then there is no dvaita. One who has taken up the path of knowledge, who has understood what reality is, the ultimate reality. For him, everything is manifestation of that same one reality. Consuming the daily food regularly is obligatory on all, including the enlightened. But the latter convert eating itself into jnana yajna. We all, we, we all take our breakfast, lunch, dinner. Now what happens? Do, that, that, does everyone have this feeling of, I am offering this sacrifice to the one who is inside? Or, it's just that I am eating it. I am eating it. I like it. I don't like it. The I. I consciousness. But when we make that act of eating as an offering to the one inside, the entire uh, you know, the, 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 the basic the entire uh, scenario gets changed. It is not that I am having breakfast or lunch or dinner. I am feeding the one who is inside. I am feeding it as an oblation like we offer ghee into the home. So when we take food, if we take food also in that spirit, with that understanding, it becomes yajna. And that is what Sri Krishna is telling. Whatever we do, consider everything involved in that activity 
as filled with Brahman. Everything that we see, that we deal with, we, we may be, uh, you know, meeting so many people while doing our uh, re regular day-to-day -day activities. Consider everyone around us. Why only people? Even the matter, the laptops, the mobiles, fine, everything is Brahmamai. It's filled with Brahman. These are all the projections, manifestations of Brahman in different forms and names. And these we create out of illusion. Form and name. The moment we create anything with form and name, it is into that, in that gamut of maya, the delusion. So, when everything is filled with Brahman, why have this kind of confusion then? Why have this kind of me and you? Why have this kind of duality? And then, fixing the mind on the Lord. I am doing this as his instrument. I am doing it in the spirit of uh, whatever activity I am doing. I am doing this activity as an offering to the Lord. It is the Lord's activity. It is the Lord's work. I am just an instrument. When we work with this kind of spirit of sacrifice, that is the uh, that is what uh, Shri Krishna has elaborated in this 24 to shloka of everything that is Brahman. Ultimately, the whole activity, the result, the outcome of all the activities is his responsibility. Why should we worry about it? Let us get free from all the attachment to that outcome of the karma. Let us only do our part. Let us do our part most sincerely. Let us do our swadharma like Krishna has been telling Arjuna. What we are meant to do, let us do. Let us not run away. Let us complete the task that has been given to us. Whether it will get completed or not, again that is his will. If he wills, it will get completed. If he doesn't will, it will remain half finished. So that is how Shri Krishna tells us to work in the spirit of sacrifice. Yadnya ya charataha karma. And Shri Krishna in this 24th shloka has perfectly explained to us what is meant by yadnya. Everything around us is Brahman. So don't have this kind of wrong notion, wrong idea that I am doing it. I am doing it. It is the Brahman in the form of oblations. It is the Brahman in the form of Ji, Brahma Havir. It is the Brahman offering to the fire of Brahman. Everything, the offerer, the offerings and the fire to which being yeah, the things are being offered, all are Brahman. Brahmaivate mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and everything, all the outcome is going to reach Brahman alone. Brahma karma samadhina. Merged with this understanding mm -hmm. of work is Brahman. And then we can get uh, get uh, free from attachment and then all those qualities that Sri Krishna has told us earlier in the 22nd and 23rd shloka, they will get attached to us. Then we can remain Dvandvatita. Then we can remain Yadrutalavasantushta. Then we can be free from envy, jealousy, Vimatsaraha. All those qualities, they will come to us. And like a mere puppet in the hands of the Lord, the hands of the Divine Mother, we will keep on doing our works, not getting attached to outcome of the work. And then we will also na karmani limpati, we will get into that mode of Sri Krishna. So Sri Krishna wants all of us to follow his footsteps and reach that level while performing our even day-to-day -day activities. So that was the 
फोर्थ श्लोका एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज सैक्रिफाइस एंड व्हाट गोज बिहाइंड सैक्रिफाइस so that was our reading for today of this 24th shloka of the gnana karma sanyasa yoga of shrimad bhagavad gita om namo bhagavate vasudevaya shri krishna namaste jai shri ram krishna jai thakur jai ma jai sa